So we're starting the third string here. Here's Jonathan Boudreau trailing in the match by eight pins. He's on the head pin to start the string. Leaves the diamond plus the seven pin on the left side. Tough shot. Why it's tough with that sleeper eight pin in the back. Takes out the single for the 10. Jonathan already in his young career with two Pro Series titles. And he's got four titles in the NBA state tournaments. Got a split here. He's waiting for the wood to calm down. What do you think here? I would go far right on. Only thinking that my ball would take out the two pins on the right and the wood would snap and take out the left because they were looked like they were connected. Mm. By the way, it's a tough shot. He's open the first two, but he doesn't leave a piece on the plate. A pair of tens. Again is Brian Fuller. As I mentioned before, Brian, uh, product of a bowling, actually a bowling dynasty here in Amesbury. Just off the head pin, leaves a mess up there. He's got the four horsemen on the left and the nine ten. No wood. We've been standing. And that's an eight box. Let's see if he can get back on track here on lane two. This match has been a tight one all the way. He turned around as soon as he let it go. He got a pretty decent break out of it. It's not bad. One, three, six. Would you go outside on this one? It's odd. For the four horsemen, I tend to go outside. For those three, I would probably go inside, and I don't know why. I mean... That much harder to carry the seven or the ten yeah. in a shot like that. So Jonathan picks up a two and count as both of our bowlers are open the first two boxes of this third string here in downtown Amesbury, Massachusetts. Another episode of Classic Candle Pins. I'm with Rich Lone. My name is Kyle Bruce. Buried in the pocket, but he's got the 6 7. That, that is not a good looking leave. He's, he's had some splits on, on three. As we saw in our second strand. Let's see how he negotiates the 6 7. Hmm. I don't think that would help him. No, not unless you were super, super thin and it would stop the pin from going straight mm. back to the curtain. Jonathan's a pinning machine. That's the key. When you're not marking, you got a pin. Boys and girls, this is a two-pin match here. A little heavy that time. Four seven ten. Mm, a little high in that cap. I think that's the only place you can go because low mm. certainly wasn't going to yeah. take it. Yeah. I think that's a, a lot harder shot for a lefty as well because he doesn't get sidewall action exactly. at all for a righty. Exactly. You might slam that off the wall and have a prayer. Jonathan's 40 after four, he's still pinning. Marks are hard to come by for both of our bowlers here today. Brian leaves the solid six. This would be big to put a little distance between uh, himself and Jonathan. And he had uh, issues with the six pin before. He was left on. That was uh, lean two, right? Mm -hmm. He picks up the single. Move 
moving over to lane two for his fourth box. And took out that sleeper. Carries the sleeper. Leaves, leaves the right check mark. Three, five, six, and ten. It's on the object nice pin carry. and it goes. Nice carry. Good shot. Spare in the fourth for Brian Fuller. Let's see if Boudreau can put up a mark here in this third string. Is it oh, nice Buries the head pin. Come on, put it in the face. Oops. Three pin. Yes. No! You spoke too soon. You were sitting in the wrong seat. Mm. That I was. John, the just off the head pin. Rich, this is your favorite shot. I love it. Yes. Bowling alley I grew up in. I used to learn how to have to shoot this outside because it would not go on the inside. Impossible. Wakefield, Massachusetts, one of the toughest houses around. Agree. He's still pinning. This is a big fill here for Brian. He's 38 with the ball in the fourth. Let's see how he fills here. Carries the five pin. Looked like That's he was looking at the pin. five seven there for a second. Those Nine fill. No. Brian's Play having the next time. Brian's having trouble with singles. He's only uh, two for five right now. On nine pin drops. That can really change a match if he's picking picking those up. <laughs> The lead is 15 here. Some ugliness down on that plate. He was full. He's got tri he's got triangle right. Not much going on. After six here in this third string, Brian is at 65 and Boudreaux is at 60. Total lead here in the match right now is 13 pins with four boxes to go. Oh, no wow. doubt about that one. Wow, bomb city. The response from Jonathan Boudreaux and bomb city. Throw another one. Come on. No doubt about thing. that one. He's all over the head pin this string. Six for six so far. Mm. No. First bonus ball. And he's through the middle. Still got bonus pins up there. Hopefully he takes out three and cuts something over and takes out some more. frustrating leave in this game than the spread eagle in your estimation yes and no I mean I don't get frustrated so much at it because at least I'm hitting the head pin which is the one I want to hit mm. um, I, I would tend to think that the Worcester is more frustrating to me because mm. you don't throw the ball that straight so that it ends up that you take out two pin how can it not be more than two but I understand when you drive it straight back and you take out. I'm more amazed at the 1-5 than anything. Mm. Oh, it yes. finally goes! So Brian answers Jonathan's strike in the seventh with a spare of his own. 75 plus a ball here in the seventh. Bonus. 
and the eagle strikes again. Takes out the right side. Seven boxes for our bowlers in the eighth string. Eighth That's string. How am I looking? In the eighth box. Ryan's lead is 11 going into the final two. Jonathan wants Mark. Not two. Oh, wow. what a ball. We saw that again. We saw that before. We saw that 579 before. Let's see if we can cut it over. Yes! What a shooter up there. Great shot there, by Come on. Spare in the ninth. So right now, Boudreau is 93 with the ball in the ninth. Wants a big count here, obviously. He can get another That'll pocket. really tighten things up. Absolutely. because then you risk throwing it in the gutter. Punch out. Finishes with a 107. Yikes. So, Brian Fuller wins this match with a uh, tremendous final count, I would say, of uh, 346. Jonathan Boudreau, 338. I think it was. Bo I think it was tremendous. Uh, 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 a sterling effort from both of our bowlers today. A lot of good ball 